the most important characteristic of an Omicron variant driven surge is the rap rapidity of the uptick of cases in 24 hours. And if you have that type of uptick, like 8.4% uh, coming from a 4. Point plus percent, then I would surmise most likely it can be an Omicron variant driven transmission. COVID-19 infections in the country is again rapidly increasing. It was on December 27 that the country's positivity rate is over 5%, but on December 28, it rose to 8.4% based on Okta Research Team's report. According to infectious disease expert and vaccine expert panel member Dr. Ron Jean Solante, the surge in cases is not just due to Delta variant, which is still the dominant variant in the country. In the absence of a data and uh, real-world data of genome analysis of all those positive, then we should just treat this as possibility of an interface between an Omicron and a Delta variant. Halo na, so merong Delta at merong Omicron. So that alone, napaka high risk ng, ng transmission. If you have Delta, high transmissibility, and if you have Omicron, double transmissibility than Delta, then napakataas ng, ng rate ng cases natin na mata may tatala yan in the coming days. As of December 24, the Philippines has already detected 8,452 cases of the Delta variant and four imported cases of the Omicron variant from sequence samples. Omicron variant brings mild symptoms to people, but 10 to 18 people can be infected by an individual positive of it. Medical-grade masks should be worn against Omicron according to an expert. An expert said people should be wearing at least three-ply surgical masks. KN95 or N95 masks should also be worn in crowded places amid the threat of the Omicron variant of concern. The Philippine government and the medical societies have been preparing for a resurgence of COVID-19 cases this 2022 due to the Omicron variant. Aiko Miguel, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.